welcome to our first episode of Style. For this new segment, we'll be covering topics from head to toe, which includes your hair, your beauty trends, your makeup, your fashion style tips and advices for both genders. Since today is the last day of Chinese New Year, I believe all of y'all will only wear your red pieces during like National Day. So for the very first episode, I'll be showing you guys possible ways to restyle your Chinese New Year clothing. So today I've prepared three sets of red and bold pieces, which includes the blazer and shorts a printed floral skirt and a simple red blouse which I'll be recreating three different looks for it. Let's begin! I'll be creating a casual shake look with this classic timeless band tee which I believe everybody has one in your closet and to match it with these red bow shorts that will make the whole look pop. Singapore can be too hot to layer on clothes so instead I will always try to layer my looks with accessories like this double chain necklace. To add contrast to the whole look, I've chosen this white cute leather bag and this white pair of boots. For the next look, I'll be going French shake. It's a perfect look to dress in whenever you want to cafe hop and take some insta-worthy OOTDs. For this look, I've decided to include the blazer piece as well. We all know that Singapore is probably too hot for some to don on a blazer as a fashion piece. But here are some alternative ways to wear the blazer. Since it's a lightweight linen piece, you can toss it over your shoulders or even tie it around your waist to give a different look. I love pairing my Brixton hat with anything because I feel that it's always a perfect accessory to elevate my style effortlessly. To add more details, I've chosen this pair of small over sunglasses to give it a retro twist. For the girly romantic, Colour coordination is very important. One way to colour coordinate is to keep it within the same family of colours. In this case, red is the primary colour of choice and I've chose a printed white blouse with red pattern. Instead of palms or heels, I've decided to go with sneakers to give it a little touch of fun. Another example of colour coordination would be my choice of white shoes that matches my top. I've chosen this bag because of its cute shape and it looks like a lunchbox shape, right? So I'm going to do a special delivery to somebody. Bye! Next up, a printed floral skirt for the feminine girls and I'm going to create a sophisticated glam look with this basic black shirt. I believe you might have something similar in your wardrobe as well. When you don't know how to match a printed skirt, a neutral plain piece is often the best bet. For the accessories, I've chosen these cute little tasseled crystal earrings to glam up the whole look. This look is suitable for a meal at a restaurant, a drink at the bar, and dress down Fridays. In addition, if you are going for an interview in the creative industry, this might be a good look that shows off your personality. Next up, we are going for the preppy look. This is an A plus outfit if you are heading to a library date. I've chosen this cute little knitted crop top to go with the skirt instead of a standard basic plain polo tee. Don't be afraid to play around with texture just like how I did with my knitted top. But if you're not so adventurous, you can always keep it safe with a classic saddle bag like the one I'm carrying. To complete the whole look, I've chosen this pair of white dad sneakers. For the last look that I'll be creating with this floral skirt will be glam rock. We can wear this when you are travelling overseas, not in Singapore. Uh. I, I nearly died. So we talked about colour coordination earlier on and for this outfit, I am going for a monochrome tint and so I chose to pair my blush skirt with this nude turtleneck top. To create the rock look, I layered on a black faux leather vest that I bought in Korea. It looks really cool with the metal belt details on it, right? To finish off the whole look, I went with these black leather boots and there you have it. A cool glam look with a touch of girlishness. Finally! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Finally! To the last set of red clothing that I have, I'm gonna match a street cool style. With this pair of beach pants that I really like. Look at it ah. Uh. It's really long. 
but I will show you how to make it not so long. Here's a tip from a petite girl to you. Don't be afraid of trousers that are too long for your legs. Apart from folding the hems up, you can always pair it with shoes like these. Chunky deck sneakers which will help to keep the trousers off the ground. I love this white bucket hat because it adds on quirkiness to my entire outfit. Everything oversized is always comfortable but I do know that many girls may be afraid to wear oversized pieces for fear of looking fat. There are many ways to not let oversized clothing wear you. One will be a high-waisted trousers like this with a belt across. This will help to give your body some shape as opposed to a straight cut pair which you might end up looking like a block of tofu. To so create an everyday casual... Everyday casual... <laughs> To create an everyday casual look perfect for Singapore weather, I've chosen these denim shorts with this plain blouse. You can stop here but why not try elevating your basic outfit by adding on accessories. For me, I chose to use a black belt with a gold buckle to dress it up. To add on more attitude to the whole look, I've chosen this pair of black boots instead of like sandals or sneakers. The highlight of this outfit is definitely the colourful bag that I'm carrying. I love anything multicoloured because it's the easiest way to add a pop of colour to any outfit. Hands up my fellow art students, this is the artsy style and the last set of the day! Don't you just love this printed skirt? It's so tastefully designed. If you don't want to be overcrowding your look with loud pieces from head to toe, in this case, I've decided for this printed skirt to be the focal point. All my other pieces are muted and toned down just so to let the skirt be the star of the show. I really love this necklace because it looks simple yet it looks really cool and easy to match. I think it's very important to find out what kind of style you like and to illustrate your style through your everyday outfit. I've paired this red lipstick with all the looks I created, which is uh, from Shu Uyu Mora. Shu Yu Mora. Shu Uyu Mora. Uh, which in the shade 163. It's not sponsored, but I find that the red colour matches all the outfits that I've created. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for watching our first episode of Style. I hope you enjoyed it and I want to see how you recreate your CNY looks. Remember to tag us on Team NOC Official and hashtag Style NOC so I can see your new looks. I hope this has been useful for you and if you have any styling question you would like to address, please drop us a comment below and your question might just be answered in our next episode. Remember to follow all our social media handles and click here for more and click here to subscribe. Finally, I'm done. Bye-bye.